This is Gwangamun, a landmark and also a symbol of Seoul's long history. The perks of working in the heart of Seoul is you can visit Gyeongbok Palace within just 10 minutes of walk. So today I'll be taking you guys to a virtual tour of this beautiful palace. All right, just to give you guys a little bit of background, Gyeongbok Palace was built in 1395. That's three years after the Joseon Dynasty was founded. It was the home of kings, the king's households, and the government of Joseon. The premises of this main palace were destroyed by fire during the Japanese occupation, but were later rebuilt and restored. Recently, Gyeongbok Palace has opened a special nighttime tour for the public, so let's take a look at the gorgeous night view of the palace. Ta da! And did any of you guys recognize this spot? Yes, you guessed it right, BTS has performed here. They performed Mika Cosmos here at Gyeongwaru Pavilion and also performed another hit song Idol at Gungjeonjeon over there. The nighttime tour of Gyeongbok Palace is very popular even among the locals here that the tickets were sold out every season, every year. 서울에 사는 친구들이 경북 야광 개장을 했다고 해가지고 여자친구하고 좀 좋은 곳도 가고 싶고 좀 이색적인 데이트를 하고 싶어서 오게 되었습니다. 밤에 이렇게 왔는데 뭐 조명들도 이쁘고 무엇보다 지금 코로나로 어려운 시대에 좀 마음을 안정시킬 수 있는 곳인 것 같아가지고 너무 좋고 코로나가 이제 없어지면은 외국인 분들도 이렇게 오셔가지고 좋은 여행을 즐겼으면 좋겠습니다. 元々春にインスタでやってたのを見ていたんですけど、今回もインスタで10月の後半から始まったのを知ったので来ました。私は昼の観覧の時にしか来たことがなかったので、夜はまた別の魅力があっていいなと思いました。the nighttime tour of Gyeongbok Palace will be open until November 29th, so don't miss out. And if you wear a hanbok, you'll be able to enter the palace for free, so make sure you guys keep that in mind as well. Alright, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the day and night tour of Gyeongbok Palace. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more interesting videos. Bye!